everything, the best thing to me, got a key to my home. Now, is he really the best thing? I want to read this before I get my scripture because this is just the way I'm being led. People today and preachers are getting our sweet thing, which is a vessel of dishonor. When they will not correct the house or correct preachers or correct anything that's going on in the house, they is a sugar preacher. I ain't talking about gay. They just sweet. Because they will not correct what God said correct. It said, you can not discredit truth. Truth is true. And it can neither be proven or disproven. It is simply is. As God said, as long as you are still worrying about what others think about you, you are owned by them. Only when you require no approval from outside yourself can you own yourself. Do you own yourself? What is true? What is true? What is the truth about y'all? Do God own y'all? What is true? Do you love God? Do you love your leadership? Do you believe your leadership is from God? What is true? Have they been giving you truth? Then why are you going against or why are you rebellious to truth? It's a promise behind it. Because truth is true. You can't do nothing against truth but for the truth. So all this stuff y'all doing that's against the truth, it's a promise for y'all. It's just true. It simply is. And all y'all trying to find something to be mad about, that's just your sinful nature. You only want to be mad because you come in here and the word is revealing that you have no thought of changing. So you trying to get mad because that's the way everybody get ready to leave. They start finding fault with the church, then they're going to leave. But this said you can't do nothing against the truth. Truth still going to follow you regardless. Everybody on left here still got to deal with what they have heard in the house. God got access by your earlobe. Because he said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. God got access to every man and woman that don't been in the house. You might then give him access, but he told you faith come out hearing. So if faith come out hearing, hearing by the word of God, then as you heard, faith became in you. And there's a promise behind it. St. John, the 14th chapter. I see, we, I see we just here today. St. John, the 14th chapter. It said, Jesus' words show that the way to eternal life is through unseen and certain. It said, he has already prepared the way to eternal life. The only issue that may still be unsettled is you, your willingness to believe. And all these sugar preachers is trying to tell people they can make it there by not doing it by the Bible. But an apostle's job is to put the church back correctly. And since I've been called to do this, you can't do nothing against the truth. My title said, Jesus is the way to the Father. There's no other way none of y'all gonna get to heaven by singing in the choir, ushering, preaching, anything. That is not the way he said you're gonna get there. You're not gonna get there by being an apostle, bishop. You're not gonna be there to get there by being fine, good looking. You're not gonna get there by nothing. That's your way of doing it. And as I begin, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place 
for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto, my, unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whether I go, you know the way you know. It said, Thomas said unto him, like some of y'all said, Lord, we know not whether thou go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. But by me. My next scripture, you don't have to turn there, is Isaiah 5, 14. Therefore hell has enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pump. And he that rejoice shall descend into it. Oh, Heavenly Father in Jesus. God, they said that falling in love with you was the best thing. But God, they didn't mean that. They didn't mean it. But you said promise made, promise kept. You said they don't mind saying a lie or speaking a lie because they don't believe your word said all lies is going to make it into the lake. But God, you said to your servant that if you be lifted up from the earth, you'll draw all men unto me. God, I come to lift up the name that's above every name in the name of Jesus. God, send your spirit in this place and continue to get access through the hearing. Because faith do come by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. God speak to your people today. And God, if we ever give you the praise, we give you the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say amen, amen, and amen. You can have your seat. You cannot discredit truth. Truth is true. And it can neither be proven nor disproven. It simply is. Yeah. As God said, so long as you are still worrying about what others think about you, you are owned by them. Only when you require no approval from outside yourself can you own yourself. Do you own yourself? What is true? What is true, y'all? What is true? What? is true. Ain't God got a way of talking? Yeah. What is true? If God seemed far away, guess who moved? All y'all sitting in here, and I, when I was sitting in the back, I said, Lord, I hope it don't do like that. You know, I hate preaching from I don't like preaching funeral at all. But when I came out here and looked at a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all dead. But I don't like preaching funeral. But one thing I can take to a funeral is true. <laughs> It'll wake up the dead. Y'all finna wake up for a few minutes. Y'all, you might, you might not wake up long, but you, you'll wake up for a few minutes. All y'all trying to find a way to discredit God's word or to discredit God's men and women, y'all are crossing the wrong line because y'all want to live wrong. Because if you won, if you won, if you won trying to live wrong or you won living wrong, you'll be willing to accept what being said. God is so good. I, I I love him. In in the in, now let me go to him first. Let me let me let me go on go on over here and do this like this, because God got a way of crying the crowd to his people. And uh, Brother Mitchell was 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 talking about this. It said, "But how easy it is to ignore the message and continue to live a sinful life." He said, "How." Easy to do. 
And when I looked at this, I, I heard Mitchell talk about this in Ezekiel 33 and 6. It said, but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, blow not the trumpet. So that's what I'm talking about, these sugar preachers. They seeing the people in the church roam from the pulpit all the way to the door and won't nobody say nothing. But listen what it said right here. He said, but if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood is required at the watchman's hand. The blood is required at the, the preacher, the, the bishop, the apostle, the, the evangelist. And, and we sit in church and we see people doing the wrong thing, and we try to send a subliminal almost message. What did it tell them? How you going to preach to me when your house ain't in order? When the Bible tells you that your house should be in order. We got some sugar-coated preachers. I just happen not to be one. You in the right place at the right time. And I got the right word for you today. All y'all that's dead in him, you might still leave him dead. But I'm going to bless you because I'm going to let you know where you're going to spend eternity at. That's my job today. My, my, I'm not afraid to tell you. It said, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Let every man. Y'all being persuaded in your own mind. Everybody making your own decision. Everybody rejecting God's word. You sitting right here and acting like you okay with it. You saying it. But at the same time, if you're not obeying it and you're not doing it, you are rejecting it. Don't talk about you all, he was the best thing, and you ain't following him. Y'all can fake me out, y'all can shut your head, clap, do whatever you want to. I'm going to tell you what the word said, and then you dissect it. That's my job. God continue to throw out a lifeline to y'all. And y'all ain't even trying to grab it. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know, some people can swim, but you can't swim the ocean. Because even if you kid uh, 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 swim all of it and not drink it ever, something that God might, he might have a, a, a shock to get you, not, not a whale. Now the shark hungry. So don't think you're going to sit in here belly. You know, y'all try to put stuff with it. But let's have God talk about this. He got a way of doing it. How many of y'all like reality show? Now, hold up now. Hold up now. Let me ask that again. How many of y'all like reality show? Oh, boy, y'all. Oh, boy, y'all. Oh, y'all ought to be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all ought. Oh my God. Oh my God. God told me, Terry, the reason why your ministry is like it is, is because I call you to prepare the people for where they're going to spend eternity. Right. Yeah. Let me just get y'all what prepared, because all y'all just sitting here and lie that y'all don't like reality show, when reality is really a true thing that is just in a reality. So that means y'all don't like truth. Because reality is, this is really something that really happened that I can say, that's just what my husband is doing. But it's reality, but it's really the truth. Don't mean it's your truth. So let me just tell you. He told me, prepare the people, Terry. That's why people don't like your church. My message today, y'all rested. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. My question is, are you prepared? Since all y'all don't like reality show, 
Heaven is a prepared place. He said, let not your heart be troubled. It's prepared already. Hell is a prepared place already. It is enlarging itself. And God prepared both of them. So how y'all like the reality is where you're going to spend eternity. God told me to prepare. And that's why most of y'all don't like the church because we are trying to tell y'all what going to keep y'all or what going to take y'all to the place. But I think the best way to do it is sugarcoat preachers don't tell you this. So let me go on and do it because let me tell you, heaven is a promise and hell is too. So both of us are promised. So he made the promise. He got to keep the promise. So when you disobey God, he promised you hell. When you don't do it in words, he promised you hell. When you ain't born again, he promised you hell. So y'all falling in love with God and you need to fall in love with yourself. What got you going against what you know is true? Know how you know it's true? Because you tell people. But for some reason, you ain't got to live by it. But let me get you prepared because it was explained more to you what it is. To make ready before, beforehand. In other words, my prepared me, I'm making ready beforehand. Prove it in, apostle. I go to prepare a place for you. Hell is large in itself. They are already prepared beforehand. Then I preach to y'all, y'all ignore the two. It's membership only in heaven and hell. So y'all are already preparing yourself for where y'all going. Y'all can sit here and act crazy, don't want to say, I like reality show, like it's going to get you. No, you preparing to go to hell. You for, you for knowing this. You, let me just get there. Let me just get there. Because see, that's why y'all are trying to be slick. It said, you preparing heaven and hell. How they doing, Apostle? To make ready beforehand for some purpose, use, or activity. Whatever you want to have, you already preparing for it. They, they can preach it in every film they want to and put everybody in heaven. It's already prepared. The way you live it yesterday and today and all the time you've been in the church, you making preparation. Y'all can wave all that. They're going to be doing all that in heaven. In hell too. They're gonna be doing the hell. They're gonna be still praising God in hell. They're gonna be still preaching, preaching in hell. To no prevail. It ain't gonna give them nothing. All the repenting y'all doing ain't gonna get y'all out of hell. You're making preparation to go. All y'all, y'all coming to him and they have no mindset to change and to do what God said. And then you go on the, your YouTube, Facebook, and listen to all them sugar preachers telling you you're good. That's what he said. He said, prepare. He said, to make ready beforehand to show a, a, some purpose or use of this. I like this. To work out the detail of plan in advance. Whether y'all like reality shows or not, y'all in the Bible. Y'all in the Bible. Let me ask you this. Now, let me ask you this. I'm going to help y'all again. You ain't got to raise your hand. How many of y'all plan to go to heaven? <laughs> Join you and plan to go to heaven? You ain't raise your hand. How many of y'all plan to go to heaven? I want the people that plan to go to heaven to raise your hand. Raise your hand if you plan to go to heaven. You can put them down. Well, I want participation. It said, a choice. It said, to make someone or something ready. That would be it. You making something ready is prepared. Ain't that something? Ain't God awesome? He said, you can't walk with God and hold hand with the devil. For all y'all trying to do this, God come back, he said, Terry, you got to prepare the people. You got to make forehand. You got to tell them what will take them to hell and what will take them to heaven. 
And that's why Jesus started off talking about him. He said, this, Jesus is the way to the Father. So, in other words, his word is the way to the Father. And y'all are rejecting his word. Y'all are rejecting his word. Y'all ain't got to tell me nothing. God, God told me where y'all at. How y'all feel about it? Tell me how y'all feel about it. This is what it said. Apostle Simma called the people, huh, back to God. In other words, Josiah is too young. Josiah is gone. I am calling the people back to God by what his word said. All y'all, y'all won't give him asset, but I'm telling y'all, God want asset. He want to be inside you. He want to live inside y'all, and y'all want something else living there. Because whatever make y'all flesh good, that's what y'all want. Every person here, from young to the old, and some of y'all been hearing the word since y'all been in the church from a child. And still want to go out to something else. This is what it said. It said, when leaders obey God, the people be are blessed. The only reason why, the only reason why y'all were strong in COVID is because of the leadership. That's why y'all were blessed. That's why y'all were easy to do what y'all were doing, because y'all were riding off the leadership. But when COVID got over, y'all started doing y'all thing. But that's a promise to, to what you're doing because what you're doing, you're telling God, I'm going to use you like I use a man or a woman. I'm going to use you while you're good for me, but after you're good for me, I'm going on with the devil. Right here, y'all right in here. Y'all will use God for anything y'all want. If you get sick, you'll start being right in church. This is what he said. He said, don't be a hearer only. See, a lot of y'all just hear. Because y'all have no intention to do nothing. It said, don't be a hearer only, but a doer. Listen to this. Every member, every member have access to every leader. But every leader don't have access to every member. We ran in him. We ran in him. When leadership talk y'all, we don't have access. But y'all got the key to all our phones. Y'all got the key to talk to us anytime y'all want to. But we had to make appointments to talk to y'all. Listen to what he said. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. Are you prepared? Are y'all prepared? That was God trying to say, are y'all prepared? You know, and I, I, I looked up something I was telling Mitch, I, I, I said, living is a problem, not a problem. Living for God is a problem, not a problem. Living for God is a problem, not a problem. And what y'all do, Y'all make living for God a problem. Now, I know some of y'all are real smart. Let's spell it. P-R-O. Promise. So all you got to do is change four letters. You can make a promise a problem. Because if God promised you heaven, you make it a problem serving something else, you going to hell. You make it a problem. God don't make it a problem. Y'all making a problem. You can tap our lean. It ain't gonna hurt you none. You making it a problem. Don't, 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 don't get to that act like you can't clap when God woke you up this morning. That's what I'm talking about. You make what God said a problem. See, all y'all looking crazy him, y'all making God look like he's a problem. And the reason why you're doing it is because you really ain't fell in love with God. And you can say I call you out if that's what you want to call it. This is how God talk. He's talking to us. He come back in Revelation 14 and 12. He said, here is the patient of the saints, the saint. Here are they that keep the commandment of God and the faith in Jesus Christ. So you can't keep your faith Sometime in God, it got to be always in God. Is that how God said it? Will you let someone else cut your power off? 
Would you let somebody else cut your promise off to God? You might have had the problem, but you only came to let it be a problem. Because what God told you one for you, you made it for you. That become to be a problem. Where y'all gonna spend the time? Promise Murray, promise made, promise kill. Where y'all gonna spend the time? You can't lie to God because He knows all things. Do we have access? Who, who God got access to? Who got, who got access? So that means His access to you, that means you do whatever He say. Huh? See, it's easy to lie. It's easy to lie. It's easy to lie. That's y'all problem. Y'all is trying to tell God what God said. I have gave you my word. My word had became a problem to you because my word going to judge you. My, my word is a problem, but you make it a problem because you obey it when you want to. Is it what he said? He come back a lot of times, us. He said in Proverbs 16, 2 and 3, he said, all the ways of a man are clearly in his own eye. See, that's why y'all can say y'all got God interested because it's clear in your own eye. That ain't in God's eye. That's in your eye. Because you want to be right with God because you want the problem, but you don't want to be. You a problem. A lot of y'all in here, y'all a problem to yourself. Because y'all don't want the problem. This is what he said. He said, all the ways of a man or a woman are clearly clear in his own eye. But the Lord way the spirit. Hold up now. So now you saying it's clear in your eyes, but if he weigh your spirit, what do your spirit tell him? You know what your spirit, know that spirit tell him, yeah, it's a problem. Your spirit, every one of y'all most of him, spirit tell God they don't want the promise. It is a problem because you keep living in your flesh doing what you desire. It's a problem. That's why most of y'all have a problem. Because y'all said God told you to do it, and then when it get together, it becomes the problem, becomes to be a problem. It's the way he said. He's talking to he's talking to He said, but all the ways of a man are clear in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit thy work unto the Lord. And thou thoughts shall be established. He said, first you got to commit what I'm saying unto the Lord. I got to check to see if the Lord okay with that. Yes, yes, before it be as established. But because I don't really want the problem, I think it's saying problem, but it's saying problem. Y'all yeah. ain't got to say nothing. He's telling us that. And he, in the promise, he's telling us, you must be born again. Most of y'all raise your hand, ain't born again. I'm telling you that because I know I read your spirit. I weighed your spirit. Your spirit, if you were born again, you would be having a relationship with people that are saved. You would be around people that were saved. You wouldn't be sneaking through the lid, tipping through the church, and hitting the door and all that. You wouldn't be doing that because your relationship is with the problem, not the problem. Well, I got a way to go before I get there. This is how he, he's talking up because God said, Terry, they don't understand. This is how he said, he said, the promise of the problem. Y'all tell me one. Promise made, promise kept. So everything in the word is a problem. This is what it said. In Proverbs 16, 25, it said, there's a way that seemed right unto a man. But the end there of other ways of death. Now, it might seem right unto you that you walk with God. But the end of that way, Sean, is death. So while y'all sitting there, you know what, get me? What happened if you die to any time soon? What happened with your lifestyle when you live in a problem, not the problem? He told us we're supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to be the salt of the earth. Which one are you for God? Huh? You got your own thought pattern. And we come to church and sit up here and bust up here bold. And we have no, no thought of, of keeping the promise that you made to God. When you came up here and took the right hand of fellowship with God, you told God, 
I will honor myself to what the church said. I ain't did it. You come back and say, God, I accept you in my life, that you take control of my life. He said, okay, well, this was the problem, problems that won't. I want you to present your body to me a living sacrifice. Okay, most of y'all ain't presenting the body, so that became a real problem. That's why stuff can attack y'all body because y'all haven't gave it to it. Oh, y'all can get ready for them when we got a way to go. Living is a promise for God. Not a problem. My question is why y'all got so many problems? Let me tell you why. I can tell you why. In Michael 6 and 8, he said he shunned the old man, old woman. What is good? And y'all trying to be nice. He shows y'all what is good. His word have access to your ear, whether you do it or not. And that's why he said the day that you hear my voice, he said, hard not my heart. But y'all listen to all these sugarcoat preaching and these old advances on the prophets on the phones and all that stuff and on your Facebook and YouTube. And y'all, that's where the problem coming. Because they ain't called by God. Listen to what he said. He said, he has shown the old man, old woman, what is good and what do the Lord require of thee but to do justly. He said, that's what I require y'all. How many of y'all doing justly? First, you got to find out what justly is. Don't play. Don't play, because y'all are sitting here. He ain't said just. He said justly. Y'all smarter than I am. Put your, put your education together. This is what he said. He said, the, the, but to do justly. And then he said, love, mercy. Y'all ain't got no mercy for me. Y'all ain't even got mercy for me. I preach to y'all. Y'all mad with me for telling y'all what the promise said. I'm giving you the promise. Y'all making a problem. The old Cornerstone Church is making what we preach a problem. Y'all can shake your head and nod if you want to. You ain't got that like it because God telling you. He don't want you going after riches. He don't want you going after stuff and things. But where y'all focus at? Stuff, things, and riches. If I had this, if I get this, if I can travel around the world, you ain't said yet to present your body to God. You ain't said yet to yield yourself to God. Well, the church just in all my business. Well, I'm finna get in your business some more. He said, the Lord mercy. And he said, to walk humbly without God. Y'all hear that? He said, I want humbly to that God. He come back in St. John 8, 31 and 32. He said, then said Jesus to the, those Jews, to the believers in Pensacola, to the cornerstone, to the surrounding area. He said, would believe on him. If you continue my word, that's our problem. If you continue my word, that means don't just do it when you're at church or act like you're doing it. Continue when I'm not in your presence. When, when the Bible tell you this or leadership tell you that, you don't go home and continue on something else when leadership don't told you something else. That means you don't made the promise a problem. The person you asked for the answer, you, you took and made it a problem because they didn't say the promise what you wanted. They said it was a problem. So what I told you was a problem, you don't twist and made it a problem. Right it don't take them a four letter. Yeah. I, I can tell you it's a problem, you made it a problem. You ain't got to do them a chain. This is what it said. He's talking to them. He said, because tear, they want to do them. He said, then said Jesus to the Jew would believe on him. If you continue my word, he said, then are you my disciple indeed. Now, my question is, y'all raise your hand up, but is you continuing the word? Because he said, that's how you my disciple indeed. Let me explain disciple to y'all, because a lot of y'all don't know a disciple. You've been in him, but you didn't hear what I said. It means discipline. Discipline to what? His word. Discipline to what? His leadership. Now, that asks a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all ain't them to me and you ain't them to God's word. You know why? Because God don't have access. His word can't reach you because it takes the spirit. The natural man can't, can't get this right here, what I'm talking about. Most of y'all are natural. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. Are you prepared for what? Yeah. 
or where? Where are your preparing get you? He come back and we tell y'all about your children. He said in Acts 2 and 40, he said, save yourself from this untoward generation. He said, save yourself. That becoming to be a problem because why? Because y'all still love the world and the things in the world. So you said, save yourself from this untoward generation, this bad, perverse world. Y'all still love the world. So when you say that, it makes us against the world. And so since you still love the world, it makes you against us. Well, the promise said become to be a problem. So now, where I, I once had y'all captain on me, I have become a problem to y'all because y'all want the promise of the world, not the promise of God. That was wrong with the whole church. That's why preachers can't preach the truth because if I tell them the the promise of God, then I got to tell them the truth of God by heaven and hell. If I tell the truth of God, then the offering gonna stop. So the word to a preacher that's been called, if he ain't doing his supposed to, it don't became to be a problem. Because he want to please you all. When y'all lay down y'all care, I want y'all to know one thing. When your body laying there and your spirit go, boy, I wish I'd listen to apostle. I made him a problem to me. No matter how much love he showed to me, I made him a problem. This is what it said. He says, save yourself from this untoward generation. Save yourself from going to hell. Save yourself. That's what God says. Save yourself. God is trying to tell you that. He said, he has already prepared the way to eternal life. The only issue that may still be an unseller in you, yours, is willingness to believe. We don't want to believe. And that's why God, come over here. He starts saying, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. He said, in other words, if you believe in God, believe also in Jesus. Don't, don't, don't twist it. So when he's translating that to, it believe what my word say. So a lot of y'all, the word say heaven or hell uh, or whatever. Y'all don't want him. He said the ways of sin. He said this is wrong, that is wrong. Because y'all still love the world, the word, the promise, the word has become a problem. Because y'all wanted to say what y'all want, not what it said. So that's how y'all get mad with us as being leaders, because we say what the word said, y'all translate it to it, it's, it's bashing somebody, it's against somebody, it's this and that, it's this and that. He said, but let not your heart be troubled. I got a place for you. I don't prepare two places for you. And you know, what, you know what's so good about it? What I like about it? God sent Jesus down here to redeem man. And the devil came to want to take over the kingdom and said, I want to run this thing. So all y'all that's against God in him, against his word, y'all trying to run things just like the devil. And, and look at him. The same way the devil got cast down by the thought, y'all getting cast down sitting right up in him. That's why he don't gave y'all over to a reprobated mind or a strong delusion. Because the thing y'all believe in, y'all know the Bible says against it. But because you got a strong delusion or a reprobated mind, you want to believe it. He said, I turned this thing over to get let y'all do what's not convenient. I let I want to let y'all do it. Because why? Y'all feel like y'all God. Y'all feel like I do it how I want to do it. That's why all y'all talking about, when I get this age, when I get this age, I'm going to do it this way. Let me tell you how that feel. I used to be saying, I'll be glad when I get out of my dad's house, I'm going to be able to go out there and do what I want to do, stay out in the club long I want to, be with who I want to, do what I want to. And then when I got out there, I said, no, oh, I didn't think about Bill. I ain't think about what coming with this. I ain't think about when I go out there and get somebody pregnant. I ain't think about that. I ain't, that wasn't in the schedule right there. That wasn't in my house. Huh? I ain't think about that. I ain't think if I got a car, it's going to be a bill. And I ain't think if I get a nice car at 18, the insurance is going to be way high. I ain't think about that. So when I got out there, when I thought I was making money, everything started being a mountain. Well, in other words, what I went for, it was against the problem. It became to be a problem. Most of y'all, what y'all going out there is going to become to be a problem. That's what he said. Let me tell you one thing about him. He's so awesome. God knows everything, and God is everywhere. 
So while y'all trying to fool him, you can't do it. This is what it said in Galatians 4 and 16. He already knew that the problem would come to be a problem. How do you know that? This is what he said. He said, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? He said, I don't became your enemy. I'm the promise that one time you were loving. Now, all of a sudden, I don't became a problem. Because why? Because you smell it yourself. You're a little bit older now. So now what I was saying, you are, now you smell it yourself because you, you, you grown. So you want to do grown man thing, but you want to whine like a baby. This is what he said. He's talking to them. Ain't God got a way of doing something? This is what he said. Though. He said, then said Jesus to the, those Jews who would believe on him. If you continue in my word, so if you don't continue in word, you ain't his disciple. He said, then you are my disciple. This is what I like. This is the part I like, 32. Magic Johnson number. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Why a lot of y'all still bundled? Why, why y'all, a lot of y'all still locked up? Why y'all locked up? This is what he said. He, 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 he good, y'all. He good. God knows the heart of a man. This is what he said. He come back and he said, let not your heart. That's why he told you, let not your heart be troubled. The promise is there. I already did the promise. Father, it is finished. He said, it's, look, they don't have no reason to be like they are. They don't have a reason to still sin. It is finished, God. I have completed what you sent me to do. Okay, why y'all still in sin? Why y'all go against what he completed? He told God it's finished. So the house that you prepared, the mansion you prepared, a lot of y'all talking about, it, I hate to hear church people that say they say it, talking about they going to get their mansion. What you going to get a mansion for when you got a one bedroom, one bath, and you won't even keep that clean? But you want a mansion. No, you don't know the word. That's why you say mansion. He never told nobody to get a mansion. He said, in my father's house are men in mansion. Yeah, I'm going to get a mansion. That's what them sugar preachers tell you. This is what they tell you. He come on down. Y'all y'all ride with me. Don't, don't leave him. He said, in my father's house are men in mansion. He said, if it was not so, the promise wouldn't have told you that. He said, I would not have told you. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. You remember when I was telling y'all about building a house? He said, you got to build it. I got all the material in here. A lot of y'all is just like the three little pig, not the father, son, and the Holy Ghost. Y'all are like the three little pig. The way he told you to build it, he's telling you in the scripture, do not build it. He said, build it on the solid foundation. Don't build it on sand. But y'all, y'all don't hear that, but y'all build it on sand. So he said, look, three little pig. He said, look, Terry, build it on the solid foundation on the word. Who's going to be established. It's going to hold you. All y'all build on hay and weeds and all that stuff. And it's sinking. That's why y'all like this in the church. Y'all sinking, and God knows. And all y'all gonna have to run back to the church after a while when you get out there and sink. And some of y'all might not make it back because let me tell y'all, death sitting over some of y'all head because the way y'all don't reject the God and the way y'all don't think that, Arlene. Death is on your head. Because I know what you said. How you know death over my head? How you know? That's what you say. But I read it. I told you you ain't got sitting with your mouth. This is what it said. He's talking to her. I know you, I know you, I know you ready to get out of here. That's okay. I'm about ready for you to go to. He said, look, he said, if I go to prepare a place for you, he said, for you, I will come again. So he said, I'm coming back. I'm coming back now. So when I come back, I ain't got to come back in no rapture like everybody playing a rapture. Rapture can be a car wreck. Rapture can be while you sleep. And you know what I hate? I hate to hear preachers, women or men, preaching the gospel and talking about how God is and how you should be. And then you ain't there. But somebody allow you to still preach in the church when they know you ain't there. That dog ain't hunting him. 
He said, what did he say? He's talking to us because God got a way of doing stuff. He said, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. You know God called, uh, turned all the, the judgment over to the word. And the word to y'all, which y'all say y'all love Jesus, y'all fell in love with him, y'all lying. Because if you fell in love with him, you wouldn't have no problem with his Bible. You wouldn't have no problem with it said. When the Bible talks about gays ain't right, you wouldn't be accepting gays just to accept it and be around them without telling the truth. I ain't got no problem with gays, but I got to tell them the truth. That is not the life God wants for you to have. Now, y'all get mad because y'all mind somewhere else. But I'm just saying that what God said. That's my job. You hear what he said? And Ezekiel, he told him, warn them. Hear it from my mouth and warn them. See it in my word and warn them. And then y'all don't want me to do it. But I don't want to talk about that. That's why I get mad with people. They act like I only talk about gay. I talk about y'all whole mongers and lie you too. Don't make, don't make, I don't tell y'all about making me one dimension. This is what it said. This is how God said it. He said, marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. Now, how many of y'all want to go to heaven and ain't born again? How many of y'all not living in the spirit of God, living by the spirit of God, by God's word? Everything that we don't preach to y'all, y'all lining up with it. Go on and lie. Because all lies is going in there too. That's a promise. That's a promise. See, all the scriptures, you know what everybody understand now? That's why I'm a scripture preacher, because every scripture is a promise. Amen. Every scripture is telling you something. It's telling you something. I just start out telling y'all about the preacher. Let me give y'all another. He told you in John 3, 7, he said, Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. People ain't even telling people I be born again. Let me tell you why. It come back in 1 Peter 1 and 15 and 16. He said, but as he which has called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. He said, don't be holy just at church. Be holy when you're at work. Huh? See, see, let me tell you about holy people. One thing about me, I ain't trying to be around a lot of dirty, crooked preachers. I ain't trying to do it. So if I was holy, I ain't trying to be around co-workers ain't right, not let them tell them right. I ain't trying to hang out with nobody, and I ain't trying to be nice. If I'm hanging out with them, I got to be telling the truth. I got to be telling them that lifestyle, you cussing, you smoking, you drinking, you all that. You trying to talk to me to get with me, you know. This is what it said. He said, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And that where I am, he ain't in hell. Even though he's going down there and get some stuff out of there, he ain't staying. This is what he said. He's talking to us. This is what he said. Y'all hear him? He said, prepare, 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 prepare. Let me go over here to something. Spirit don't told me to flip over him. What we miss is how God is trying to tell us something, and we got our own thought pattern. In, in Amos, y'all listen to me. Amos was trying to tell these people something. And Amos said, y'all going to be searching for a word and shall not find it. This Amos, this is what he said. He said, and as I, he said, and I also have given you cleanliness of teeth in all your city and won't of bread, he said, in all your places. Yet have you not returned unto me, said the Lord. Yeah. I gave you food, yeah. I gave you money, I gave you houses and cars, and y'all wouldn't even come back to me. Amos was telling them, you need to come back. So all the time, God said, that's all right. I got a place for all of them. But go on and warn them, Apostle Simma, go on and warn them. That's all right, don't worry about them. He come back, he talked again. He said, so two or three sitting one unto one city. He said, to drink water, but they were not satisfied. He said, yet 
have you not returned unto me, said the Lord. I gave you water, I gave you this, I gave you a job, I gave you money, I gave you children, I gave you all that, and y'all won't return unto me. Y'all got something else in your mind. You don't got this job, got that job, you don't got this, you don't heard my word, and y'all said I will not return on you. And that's why he said, heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. I've been preparing y'all, but y'all made what the promise was I given y'all to be a problem. Amen through. Amen ain't through. Amen ain't through. Amen ain't through. Membership only. Heaven or hell. I got another one said, heaven one way, hell one way. Choose. You already choose. Y'all can sit there and look like y'all understand what I'm saying. Y'all done heard too many things about hell. Y'all done heard too many things about your living wrong. This is what it said. He come on back. He started talking again. It's God. He said, I have smitten you with blazing and mildew. 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 When, you, when your garden and your vineyard and your fig tree and your olive tree increase, he said, the pummel worm devoured them. He said, I sent pummel worm and you still. I, 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 I'm still showing you your house, your life tore up and I'm still showing y'all by the word, you're coming in hearing the word but you still choose to want to go to hell. He said, everything y'all getting, I'm eating it up. Same way he did, 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 did Pharaoh. He told him he sent all the plagues and everything. Pharaoh wasn't studying there because he thought he was God. Y'all think y'all just like Pharaoh. Y'all ain't studying nothing. Y'all ain't studying nothing. Let me come and get this. Let me get it to y'all. I ain't going to mess with y'all. He said, I have sent among you the pestilence after the manner of Egypt. You have young men have I slain with the sword and have taken away your horses, and I have made the stink of your camp to come up unto your nostril. Yet you will not return. Everything God don't preach to him is just like he doing it to the people. Y'all won't return. I told I don't told y'all many times. The sin y'all doing is stinking God not. Yet y'all will not return. Yet y'all got your own mindset. You know what I'm saying? Hey, holla at you going to hell. I ain't mad with y'all. I ain't going with you. This is what it said. God come back. He talk again. Ain't God good? Now listen how God said it. Now this Amos telling the people and it says, it said it yet won't return. Now I want to see how some of y'all going to feel about this in Amos. I'm going to tell y'all Amos 4 and 11. He said, I have overthrown some of you and God overthrew Solomon and Gomorrah and you were at a fire blend, man, plucked out of the burning. He said, yet you will not return. Now this is what I'm saying. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. Are you prepared? But this is what God told me. Prepare the people. Ever since I started this ministry, I've been preparing people to, for eternal life. I ain't, I ain't been playing. I've been preparing people. And this is what, this is what Amos did. Amos got, got to the point where he said, I'm going to give them number 12 as the number of government. I'm going to give y'all the 12th thing that God, Amos said to the people. Can I get it to y'all? Yeah. Ask me to get it to him, Elvin. He said, therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, O cornerstone, O surrounding area, O world, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thou God. Prepare. He said, he said, since y'all rejected me, I want all y'all to prepare to meet me. All y'all that rejected Apostle Simon and talking against him, I want y'all to prepare to meet you. All y'all rejected all the words I don't get y'all. He wants y'all to prepare to meet him. And listen here. It was before you even started what you were doing. He knew y'all was still going to be like that. He knew some of y'all in him was still going to be like that. And y'all looking for a way out. He said, prepare. Everybody was talking about, well, everybody, everybody got a way of going to heaven. Everybody going to make it in. Everybody. Well, let's, let's go here. I'm going to prove y'all everybody going to make it in. It said, the guideline for living a blameless life. This psalm, this David. 
in Psalm 15. He said, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? He said, who should make it in heaven? He said, who, who, who? Now, if y'all check yourself, y'all know it ain't y'all. Because I got the script in the bag when it said, see, all the sugar coat preachers ain't going to tell you this. All that mess y'all be listening to, making y'all think y'all saved. Y'all ain't saved and you don't live by the word of God. Y'all ain't got the spirit of God. He said he give it to them that obey him. Stop acting like y'all got the Holy Ghost. This is what he said. He said, Lord, who shall abide in our tabernacle? Who shall dwell in our holy hill? Question. He said, he that walk uprightly. Raise your hand if you're walking up rightly. Raise your hand if you're walking up rightly because God said, I'm going to make you a lie. Because I know how you're living. I know how you're living. You might can raise your hand up possible, but I know how you're living when you're in that church. See, that's what I'm talking about. God told me, Apostle Simmer, you got to prepare the people. You got to be a woman. You got to blow. You got to tell. I can't let none of y'all go to hell on my watch without telling y'all the truth. If you go to hell, you're going to go to hell making promise made, promise kept a problem. See, everything y'all don't told God been a problem. It go both ways. Now, he don't just, this is what it said. He said, he that walk uprightly and work in righteousness. Not doing the right thing, not having an old lady across the street. He said, righteousness. See, we got a lot of believers that said they doing the right thing, but not righteousness. See, I can do the right thing by giving somebody five dollars, but that ain't the righteousness thing. Ask me why, Jeff. Did God tell you to give to him? That was just a nice justice. This is what he said. He said, Listen, listen to that David said now, this is a guideline for living a blameless life. And that's why people don't want to come here. That's why people don't understand. And that's why preachers get convicted too. They know I'm talking to everybody. Because I'm the one called to do this. And I get a joy out of preaching hell about them. I get a joy. I get a joy exposing the devil. This is what he said. He said, he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness, and speak the truth in his heart. Y'all hear that? God said, that speak the truth in the heart. When, I, when you talk to me, it's, you're, not, you're not lying to me. When I ask you a question, you're not lying to me, tell me. I, I, I don't know. I, you got to speak righteousness in your heart. A lot of y'all ain't got righteousness in your heart. That's why you sneak and do everything. Y'all ain't heard the scripture. Y'all ain't heard the scripture. He not sleep, not slumber. Look, while you doing stuff, you know why y'all, why y'all doing stuff, you know, at your house and stuff, you know ain't nobody got no key. And we don't know all the cars be at your house. He said, and speak the truth in his heart. This is what he said now. This, this, this blame the living. He said, he that backbite not with his tongue. You know, you'll say stuff about me, or uh, 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 Evangelist, or uh, Ella Simmel, or uh, Mitchell, or uh, Ella Tama, but you won't say it to Sean. Because Sean might tell. But you'll find one of them people that's a problem in the church, not a problem. You know, because God got some promised children and some problem children. Heaven is prepared for righteous people. Hell is prepared for people that cause God to, a problem. Let me come on. He said, he that backed by not, he that backed by not with his tongue, nor do evil to his neighbor. He said, these are the people that going to make it in. He said, not take up a reproach against his name. God called his people to live holy. Y'all talk to me. Say something every now and then. This is where he come back to say. He come back in Psalm 24. He said, David talking, he said, every 
thing belongs to God. The glory eternal king. He said, let us worship him and welcome his glory reign. He said, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Y'all hear that? He said, for he has found it upon the sea and established upon the flood. He said, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Question. Who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands. How clean are your hands? But everybody going to hell. That ain't what David said. So some of y'all, y'all making, preparing yourself for eternal somewhere else. He said, he that had clean hands, listen to this, a pure heart. A pure heart. He said, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, stuff and things. Don't lift my soul up, I just got to have it. Not sowing. Church must have went on strike. Church must have left the scene. He's telling us this because God is trying to prepare us for where he's trying to take us. Listen how he said it in Isaiah 5, 14. He said, therefore hell has enlarged herself. Now he ain't said nothing about heaven enlarged itself because God, when he foreknowed this, he prepared heaven for as many people are going to be on earth. Ain't he small? Because he fought, he before he beforehand he knew just so I'm a billet that I ain't got to do no remodeling. But hell went first, so hell enlarged itself herself. Why? Because y'all kept going after stuff that God said don't go after. Y'all went against the problem. Y'all, y'all, y'all went against the problem and caused a problem. And God said, all right, hell, get bigger. I see I'm going to have a lot of church people coming. He said, hell, get bigger. He said, therefore, hell enlarge herself. People ain't going to tell you that. He said, and open her mouth without measure. He said, you don't even know how big her mouth is now. Because you know what? Some of y'all are going to live to get 80 but still going to hell. It got to get bigger because it might be a less, it might be need a slot just for you. Yeah. How y'all feel that going to hell in here? How y'all feel? I don't told you it's hot eternal low and long. There's no exercise. And if you have air condition, it's blowing out fire. So all y'all try to be funny, like, like you got like you got some stuff on God. This is what he said. He's talking to us because God is trying to prepare us for his coming. Listen to what he said in 1 Peter 1 and 23. He said, being born again, not of corrupted seed, that thing you came to church with. He said, but incorrupted by the word of God which live and abide forever. He said, this, this thing I gave y'all, the Bible I gave y'all to build y'all foundation on. Because there is no other foundation. You can only add on to it. In other words, like we built onto our house, they don't tear nothing down. They just put rocks coming off from it. You know, bricks off from it, you know. So I'm adding on to my foundation. When you get more into your word, you add on to your foundation. Where you might have had a small put, you got a yacht, a big old yacht. You, you, you can walk all out to the water on this, on this foundation. Because this foundation go with you. How many of y'all building on? You, you see what it said? More Bible now that y'all buy don't say Holy Bible. It's just a book. How many of y'all holding? I'm talking about the word. I ain't talking about y'all bathing and you saying you're clean and all that. I ain't. Mm -mm. He said, wash with this. That means everything that I do, I do it by this. Do any of y'all drink in here or smoke dope? 
Do any y'all do any, do any y'all do anything? I know I know some of us smoke. But doing us do dope and crack and anything like that. Any of us got a bad habit like drugs. Y'all wouldn't tell it anyway. If I say, if I say you smoke crack or you got high, you'll raise your hand. I don't know, I don't do that. And if I shake your purse or get your wallet, you got a pipe. Or did you leave it at home? This is what he said. He said, he said, therefore hell has enlarged itself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pump. And he said, and he that rejoices in this world shall ascend into it. He that calls God promise a problem. He that calls God word a problem. We got people all over, preachers in the pulpit. They get bothered because what I say, but they won't say it what they know they should say it. Because if you look at it, everybody making everybody feel good, they tell you, just what you want so you can drop off $5. I don't care if you take the $5 back home with you. I want to tell you what God said. And God told me to give you the promise. Oh, we? Oh, oh y'all hand one? Oh, Lord. Let me finish, though. Let me see. Y'all just be quiet. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't, don't do nothing. He said, being born again, not of corrupted seed, but of incorrupted, by the word of God, which live in the Bible forever. Then it come down to 1 Peter 1 and 25. It said, but the word of the Lord endure forever. It ain't going nowhere. And this is the word which by the gospel is preaching to you. Tell me, tell me what their problem is, Jeff. Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10. He said, A heart is deceitful above all things. That thing y'all carry around with y'all is deceitful above all things. God put that in the Bible beforehand. He knew that some of y'all were going to sit right here and be deceitful to me. But I know the scripture. I know the promise. He told me you were coming. All these people leave him that know the truth and then they're changing the gospel. They know the truth, but all of a sudden they got a new revelation. How the new revelation? God ain't getting no new books out. You All you know is the 66 book. How do you allow people to, to do all kind of stuff around you and you don't say nothing? Let me finish. Let me finish. He said, the heart is deceitful above all things. It means it's deceitful above anything you can think. Your heart is. Yeah, yeah. He said, and definitely it's wicked. Your heart. I believe that's your mind, though. I believe that's your, I believe that's your mind. Because, see, the mind translates your thought pattern to lie. Come on. Come on. I can ask one of y'all something right now, and your mouth all be accumulated a lie because you already know you doing wrong anyway. So as soon as I ask you, start saying, well, well let me, let me just. see, Apostle, see, what I'm saying is that uh, it wasn't really like that happened like that, but it happened like that and this. You ain't told me what happened yet. You just start saying it happened like that and this. I, what that and this is. But that's your mind. Because it's definitely wicked. It always want to try to get out the loop of the truth. This is what it said. He said, he said, who can know it? You can't even know your own heart. You can say you won't do a lot of things until you get there. This is what it said. Though. This is the part I want to look. He said, I, the Lord, such the heart and try to reign. Ah! He said, I such the heart. He, he, said, he said, here you is trying to hide. And God said, I such the heart. Look, he ain't even got to go over there. He already such your heart and you think you look the same. He said, fool, I already know I created you. This is all y'all trying to fool God, trying to come in here and then knowing one thing y'all already know. I got a zone. And then most of y'all talk to me every now and then. He said, the Lord try to range. 
See, that's why I love that TV, TV evangelist. They don't talk like that. They make me think I'm going in. He said, I the Lord such as the heart and try to reign, even to give every man according to his way. What? Hold up. He's searching me, and then while I'm sitting here, I'm trying to act like I, he's searching. He going to pay me according to my wages. My way. And you know, and, and, and John, when he said he's going to prepare a place, they said, how do we know where you're going? He said, I am the way. So when y'all ain't doing what we said, y'all ain't going the way. We got in there, what we preaching y'all ain't doing. Y'all going to lie. Is y'all doing everything me and preaching him? Well, why y'all ain't saying that when, when Ella Simmons said, why God don't have access to y'all? Why God don't have a key? You give that man a key? Why God don't have a key? Huh? Y'all don't even about God? It's a promise, though. Everything he talk about is a promise. This is what he said. He said, he said, look here. This is what I like about God. He said, I the Lord such as the heart and try to reign, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruits of his doing. The fruits of my doing. Okay. What y'all doing? When God checked y'all fruit, what y'all doing? You know what y'all doing? Disobeying God's word. Because you ain't disobeying me. I only tell y'all what God tell me. So y'all disobeying God. And that's why he tell you like him. He tell him. He said, and he that rejoice shall descend into it. He said, he, that person that rejoice, he got to descend into it. I said, God, you so awesome. And these people try to ignore him. This is what he said in Proverbs 17, 4. He said, a wicked doer Give heed to false lips. That's in the word. He's telling you that's why you're going to hell. You give heed to false lips. You give heed to, you know what the scripture say. You know they say it wrong. But you sit there and contemplate your heart because you wanted to say, they said, just what you want to say. That's why they get new translation. It says kind of like what they want to say. Promise made. I'm going to kill him. God said, I'm going to keep these promise. He, 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 ain't, he, ain't he good, though? Yeah. Apostle Simmer calls the people back to God. When a leader obey God, the people are blessed. When he don't obey God, the people are cursed. A wicked doer give heed to false lips, and a liar give ear to a naughty tongue. God, you, ooh, boy, look at here. Boy, some of y'all ought to be testifying. Ooh, y'all ought to be testifying. This is what it said. He come back in Matthew 11 and 10. This is how I know God, what God is trying to tell him about our preachers, and the preachers ain't doing it. That's why the, the church is so messed up. He said, for this is he of whom it is written, behold, I send my message before thy faith which shall prepare Thy way before thee. He said, I send you a message that will prepare the way before y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm preparing the way before y'all. And y'all telling me I am a problem. All y'all don't care from the younger to the old. All y'all got y'all little saying how y'all feel, talk about the church. You're going to have to answer for everything you don't say to get the church. Promise made. And when it start happening, just Remember where you fell at. Remember from where you fell off at. This is what he said. I'm coming on in here. He said, when you are looking for a loophole in the word of God to justify your doing, huh? he will always give you an excuse. The enemy will gladly Helped you find one. This is what he said. 
He come back and start talking to you. He come back in Proverbs 16.5. He said, everyone that is proud in the heart is an abomination to the Lord. Sit here, know you messed up, but you proud in the heart. You ain't going to even say nothing. You going to look up here just as proud like you ain't did nothing against God. You ain't went against God's word. You ain't went against nothing that God has said. But God said, heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But he also didn't leave you without because you got a promise. He made hell for you. And all y'all sitting here, you know you get to hell, you can't come out and say, well, look, God, let me rationalize with you. I love you, but I just was doing something. I love you, God, and I love Cornerstone, but I was just mad with him. He said, as your brain grow, your mind should have grown. This is what he said. He come back. This is what I like. I like this. He said, in 2 Corinthians 13 and 1, he said, this is the third time. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth time. I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Shall every word be established. He said, every word that I don't came to y'all. I don't came to you in all kind of witness. From Ella Simmel to Ella Thomas to Ella Walker, to Minister Maxwell, to Evangelist Simmel, to how many that is? That word should be established. I'm going to tell you something I told the, 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 the men. I said, we got eight leaders. I said, and most, all the leaders are married. So if they wife was on the same page the leadership was on, it will eliminate a lot of stuff y'all doing in here. If y'all wives start telling these people by grouping off and talking all crazy and, and coming to y'all saying stuff to y'all and y'all ain't saying nothing, huh? Y'all sit there and Google, Google with them and pull your tongue. If, if, if you look at it, let me, let me give y'all some figure because we got about 20 children, but we got about 16 to 15 leaders with the wife. That don't need many of y'all to be traveling a lot of stuff with all of us being positioned. That means y'all, y'all wives that's got leaders in the church, y'all need to get off y'all tail and stop acting like y'all don't know the word of God and let stuff just happen around y'all. Evangelist ain't the only one got to tell people that's wrong. That's what you're doing wrong. Y'all sit here, y'all. Is what it said. I like that. He said, this is the third time I am coming to you. How many times I'm going to preach hell message to y'all? He said, in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. That means every word that we will preach to y'all is going to be established. Because I told you, every word that I don't preach will judge y'all. So y'all think about what I preached last week. Pastor, I want to go to hell. Don't stop me, please. Y'all heard that? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all still want to go to hell. I don't care about y'all looking pitiful. You need to look pitiful the way you're living. You need to look pitiful. Here God throwing out a lifeline and y'all rejecting it. Come on, let me tell you something else about it. Let me tell you. Look what he said right here. He said, in 1 Peter 2 and 4, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. He said, and to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed a man. Still today, y'all are disallowing God to come into your life. You're disallowing it. Just like they rejected them then, y'all doing the same thing now. We ain't begging for money. We ain't trying to fool y'all. We trying to tell y'all what thus said the Lord. But y'all are disallowing what we preaching to y'all. Child, I'm going on with Here, let me say. It says, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed a man, but chosen of God and precious. See, see, Jesus was precious. See, I'm precious. I, I, I'm, I'm just pressing. Everybody would talk about me, but I'm pressing. I ain't just pressing to a Katrina. I'm pressing to the body of Christ. Because why? I ain't got no sugar. I ain't got no lie. If you're wrong, I'm telling you wrong. And I, I, I hold myself to the same standard. Because promise made, promise kept. If he promised hell to somebody else, he promises to me too. Y'all tell him I said that now. Don't forget me. Now, this is the thing that I, I really want to get to, to let y'all know. And I'm coming to, I'm pulling the ship in. He said, in Exodus 34 and 14, he said, for thou 
shall worship no other gods. Now, I know a lot of y'all here worship other gods. If it ain't number but a man or a woman. I know y'all do. You worship money. You you worship stuff and things. You worship car. You worship all that. That's a worship. That's why he tell you, love not the world, not the things under the world. He's telling you that. This is what he said. He said, for thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord whose name is jealous, is a jealous God. And that's what I said. Everybody's talking about El Shaddai. He the wheel in the middle of the wheel. He this and that. Talk about his name being jealous. Talk about how he jealous he is for y'all whoring after other things. Look, y'all look at TV more, y'all look at a message, y'all read other stuff more, y'all read your Bible, and you don't pray, you, you'll pray. You don't pray, you'll pray. This is what he said. Let me say it again. He said, but thou shall worship no other God. Y'all been heard that. And anything that you got that before God and that you exalt and you love, it's a God. I don't care what it is. If it's your children, it's a God. Won't even tell your children they're wrong. That's a God. He said, for the Lord whose name is jealous. It was a jealous God. He come back to Deuteronomy 4 and 24. He said, the Lord, thou God, is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. He got in there a lot of times. He's trying to tell you, I hurt when y'all go to horn after other God. I hurt after I sent my son. I sent my son to die for y'all, and y'all want to reject me. I hurt. I'm jealous. Ain't none of y'all jealous? Y'all don't know how it feel to be jealous? Huh? Y'all don't know? Let me tell you how it makes y'all jealous. When I talk about gay, you get jealous. You're offended. But God is a consuming fire, and He's a jealous God. Y'all can't even show y'all teeth. That's how I told y'all I knew I was coming to a funeral. I might as well be in a funeral. Half of y'all might as well be in cash. Y'all ain't enjoying the word of God because y'all know I'm talking about y'all. And that's where the church is going. The church is burning right now. The church is burning. We trying to burn everything up that's not like God. I ain't through yet. Don't, no, hold up. Don't, don't get the clapping. Let me come on down here. He come back in Exodus 25. He said, thou shalt not bow down himself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thou God, I'm a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of your father. And here you come doing the same thing. Upon the children. Unto the third and fourth generation. To them that hate me. He said, y'all read in him. The enemy will always gladly help you find an excuse. Always. Y'all don't hear Therefore, hell has enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory, all y'all glory, and the multitude, all the things y'all don't accumulate it. He said, and the pump, he said, and he that it rejoice shall ascend into. Don't act like hell ain't for you. He said, prepare, Colin Stone, prepare. To meet your God. Prepare. And it ain't the devil y'all going to meet. Prepare. He's telling y'all to prepare. Y'all don't sit in here. We don't preach, talk, counsel, everything. And y'all still decide to not let God have access to y'all. Yeah, yeah, that's y'all. That's y'all. I know y'all don't care. Y'all, y'all don't care. Mm-mm. No, not at all. God trying to tell us something. He said, my son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. He said, bind them upon thy heart. Tie them upon thy neck. He said, when thou goest, it shall lead thee. The word. 
When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awakest, it shall talk with thee. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light, and reproof of instruction are the ways of life. He said, but y'all see that as a problem. But all y'all are going to have to answer to me. I promise you, I won't miss none of y'all. He won't do it. He already know where your heart. He already know where your mind at. He come back and said, it's a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. And if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abide faithful. He cannot deny, his, deny himself. He cannot deny his promises. Amen. He cannot. You can say whatever you want to say. He cannot deny his promises. He cannot. It's what he said. He said, but there were false prophets among, also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who probably shall bring in them Hassan, Harrison, even the nine the Lord that bought them and being bring upon them swift destruction. He said, for if God spared not the angel that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved until judgment and spared not the old. What make you think God going to get rid of you, spare you not? He said the sixth verse, and turned the city of Solomon and Gomorrah into ashes, condemning them with an overthrow making them an example unto those that after should live, should not live ungodly. God said, hey, I got to stay with my promise. He said, for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord, all y'all on heard, and the Savior is Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse than the beginning. For it had been better if you had not come to Cornerstone. It had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. Huh? Then after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto you. He said better for them not to have known. Better for y'all not to have come to church. He said, but as I close, because of who God has told me who I supposed to be and what I supposed to do, 2 Corinthians 12 and 15, and I will, and I will very gladly spend or uh, be spent for you. That's what I said. Through the more abundant I love you, the less y'all love me. But I be spent are spent for you all. And the more I search God and try to give y'all what God said, the more and more, the less I'm loved because I become to be a problem, not a problem. You cannot discredit the truth I give you. Truth is truth. And that's all I've been giving you. And it can't neither be proven or disproven by you or your co-worker. It is simply ill. As God said, so long as you are still worrying about what others think about you, I don't care. You are owned by them, not me, only. When you require no approval from the outside yourself, can you own yourself? Do you own yourself? then what is true? 